A satellite navigation or satnav system is a system of satellites that provide autonomous geospatial positioning with global coverage. It allows small electronic receivers to determine their location to high precision using time signals transmitted along the line of sight by radio from satellites. The signals also allow the electronic receivers to calculate the current local time to high precision, which allows time synchronization. A satellite navigation system with global coverage may be termed a Global Navigation Satellite System or GNSS. As of April 2013, only the United States Navstar Global Positioning System and the Russian GLONASS have global operational GNSSs. China is in the process of expanding its regional BIDO navigation system into the Global Compass Navigation System by 2020. The European Union's Galileo Positioning System is a GNSS in initial deployment phase, scheduled to be fully operational by 2020 at the earliest. France India and Japan are in the process of developing regional navigation systems. Global coverage for each system is generally achieved by a satellite constellation of 20 Euro 30 medium Earth orbit satellites spread between several orbital planes. The actual systems vary, but use orbital inclinations of greater than 50 a degree and orbital periods of roughly 12 hours. Classification Satellite navigation systems that provide enhanced accuracy and integrity monitoring usable for civil navigation are classified as follows. GNSS-1 is the first generation system and is the combination of existing satellite navigation systems, with satellite-based augmentation systems or ground-based augmentation systems. In the United States, the satellite-based component is the Wide Area Augmentation System, in Europe it is the European Geostationary Navigation Overlay Service, and in Japan it is the Multifunctional Satellite Augmentation System. Ground-based augmentation is provided by systems like the Local Area Augmentation System. GNSS-2 is the second generation of systems that independently provides a full civilian satellite navigation system, exemplified by the European Galileo Positioning System. These systems will provide the accuracy and integrity monitoring necessary for civil navigation, including aircraft. This system consists of L1 and L2 frequencies for civil use and L5 for system integrity. Development is also in progress to provide GPS with civil use L2 and L5 frequencies, making it a GNSS2 system R to the first, core satellite navigation systems, currently GPS, GLONASS, Galileo and Compass. Global satellite-based augmentation systems such as Omnistar and Starfire. Regional SBAS including WAAS, EGNOS, MSAS and GAGAN, regional satellite navigation systems such as China's Baidu, India's yet-to-be operational IRNSS, and Japan's proposed QZSS. Continental scale ground based augmentation systems, for example, the Australian GRA and the U.S. Department of Transportation National Differential GPS Service. Regional scale GBAS, such as CORS networks. Local GBAS typified by a single GPS reference station operating real time kinematic corrections. History and theory. Early predecessors were the ground based DECA, LORAN. G and Omega radio navigation systems, which used terrestrial long-wave radio transmitters instead of satellites. These positioning systems broadcast a radio pulse from a known master location, followed by repeated pulses from a number of slave stations. The delay between the reception and sending of the signal at the slaves was carefully controlled, allowing the receivers to compare the delay between reception and the delay between sending. From this the distance to each of the slaves could be determined, providing a fix. The first satellite navigation system was Transit, a system deployed by the U.S. military in the 1960s. Transit's operation was based on the Doppler effect, the satellites traveled on well-known paths and broadcast their signals on a well-known frequency. The received frequency will differ slightly from the broadcast frequency because of the movement of the satellite with respect to the receiver. By monitoring this frequency shift over a short time interval, the receiver can determine its location to one side or the other of the satellite, and several such measurements combined with a precise knowledge of the satellite's orbit can fix a particular position. 
part of an orbiting satellite's broadcast included its precise orbital data. In order to ensure accuracy, the U.S. Naval Observatory continuously observed the precise orbits of these satellites. As a satellite's orbit deviated, the USNO would send the updated information to the satellite. Subsequent broadcasts from an updated satellite will contain the most recent accurate information about its orbit. Modern systems are more direct. The satellite broadcasts a signal that contains orbital data and the precise time the signal was transmitted. The orbital data is transmitted in a data message that is superimposed on a code that serves as a timing reference. The satellite uses an atomic clock to maintain synchronization of all the satellites in the constellation. The receiver compares the time of broadcast encoded in the transmission with the time of reception measured by an internal clock, thereby measuring the time of flight to the satellite. Several such measurements can be made at the same time to different satellites, allowing a continual fix to be generated in real time using an adapted version of trilateration, CGNSS positioning calculation for details. Each distance measurement, regardless of the system being used, places the receiver on a spherical shell at the measured distance from the broadcaster. By taking several such measurements and then looking for a point where they meet, a fix is generated. However, in the case of fast-moving receivers, the position of the signal moves as signals are received from several satellites. In addition, the radio signals slow slightly as they pass through the ionosphere, and this slowing varies with the receiver's angle to the satellite because that changes the distance through the ionosphere. The basic computation thus attempts to find the shortest directed line tangent to four oblate spherical shells centered on four satellites. Satellite navigation receivers reduce errors by using combinations of signals from multiple satellites and multiple correlators, and then using techniques such as Kalman filtering to combine the noisy, partial, and constantly changing data into a single estimate for position, time and velocity. Civil and military uses. The original motivation for satellite navigation was for military applications. Satellite navigation allows for hitherto impossible precision in the delivery of weapons to targets, greatly increasing their lethality whilst reducing inadvertent casualties from misdirected weapons. Satellite navigation also allows forces to be directed and to locate themselves more easily, reducing the fog of war. The ability to supply satellite navigation signals is also the ability to deny their availability. The operator of a satellite navigation system potentially has the ability to degrade or eliminate satellite navigation services over any territory it desires. Global Navigation Systems Operational GPS The United States Global Positioning System consists of up to 32 medium Earth orbit satellites in six different orbital planes with the exact number of satellites varying as older satellites are retired and replaced. Operational since 1978 and globally available since 1994, GPS is currently the world's most utilized satellite navigation system. GLONASS The formerly Soviet, and now Russian, Globomaya Navigatsanaya Sputnikovaya Systema, or GLONASS, was a fully functional navigation constellation in 1995. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, it fell into disrepair, leading to gaps in coverage and only partial availability. It was recovered and fully restored in 2011. Baidu China has indicated they plan to complete the entire second-generation Baidu navigation satellite system, by expanding current regional service into global coverage by 2020. The Baidu 2 system is proposed to consist of 30 medium Earth orbit satellites and 5 geostationary satellites. A 16 satellite regional version was completed by December 2012. In development, Doris. Doppler orbitography and radio positioning integrated by satellite is a French precision navigation system. Galileo. The European Union and European Space Agency agreed in March 2002 to introduce their own alternative to GPS, called the Galileo Positioning System. At an estimated cost of 3.0 billion European euros, the system of 30 MEO satellites was originally scheduled to be operational in 2010. The original year to become operational was 2014. 
The first experimental satellite was launched on December 28, 2005. Galileo is expected to be compatible with a modernized GPS system. The receivers will be able to combine the signals from both Galileo and GPS satellites to greatly increase the accuracy. Galileo is now not expected to be in full service until 2020 at the earliest and at a substantially higher cost. Comparison of Systems, Regional Navigation Systems, Baidu 2. Chinese regional network to be expanded into the whole global system which consists of all 35 satellites by 2020. IRNSS. The Indian Regional Navigational Satellite System is an autonomous regional satellite navigation system being developed by Indian Space Research Organization which would be under the total control of Indian government. The government approved the problem in May 2006, with the intention of the system to be completed and implemented by 2015. It will consist of a constellation of seven navigational satellites. All the seven satellites will be placed in the geostationary orbit to have a larger signal footprint and lower number of satellites to map the region. It is intended to provide an all-weather absolute position accuracy of better than 7.6 meters throughout India and within a region extending approximately 1,500 km around it. A goal of complete Indian control has been stated, with the space segment, ground segment and user receivers all being built in India. The first two satellites IRNSS-1A and IRNSS-1B of the proposed constellation were precisely launched on July 1, 2013 and April 4, 2014 respectively from Satish Dawn Space Center. The next two satellites IRNSS-1C and IRNSS-1D of the proposed constellation are planned to be launched by end of 2014 and the remaining three satellites IRNSS-1E. IRNSS-1F and IRNSS-1G are planned to be launched by middle of 2015. QZSS The Quasi-Zenith Satellite System is a proposed three-satellite regional time transfer system and enhancement for GPS covering Japan. The first demonstration satellite was launched in September 2010. Augmentation Examples of augmentation systems include the Wide Area Augmentation System, the European Geostationary Navigation Overlay Service, the Multifunctional Satellite Augmentation System, Differential GPS, and Inertial Navigation Systems. Low Earth Orbit Satellite Phone Networks The two current operational Low Earth Orbit Satellite Phone Networks are able to track transceiver units with accuracy of a few kilometers using Doppler shift calculations from the satellite. The coordinates are sent back to the transceiver unit where they can be read using AT commands or a graphical user interface. This can also be used by the gateway to enforce restrictions on geographically bound calling plans. Positioning calculation. See also. Notes. References. Further reading, Office for Outer Space Affairs of the United Nations. Report on Current and Planned Global and Regional Navigation Satellite Systems and Satellite-Based Augmentation Systems. 2. External links, Information on Specific GNSS Systems, ESA Information on EGNOS, Information on the BIDO System, Organizations Related to GNSS, United Nations International Committee on Global Navigation Satellite Systems, Institute of Navigation GNSS Meetings, the International GNSS Service, formerly the International GPS Service, International Global Navigation Satellite Systems Society Inc., International Earth Rotation and Reference System Service International GNSS Service, U.S. National Executive Committee for Space-Based Positioning, Navigation, and Timing, U.S. National Geodetic Survey Orbits for the Global Positioning System Satellites in the Global Navigation Satellite System, UNAVO GNSS Modernization, Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation GNSS Implementation Team, Supportive or Illustrative Sites, GPS and GLONASS Simulation Simulation and Graphical Depiction of the Motion of Space Vehicles, Including DOP Computation, GPS, GNSS, Geodesy and Navigation Concepts in Depth.